What happened at Dodd Valley is a mystery to us. We don't know why Rox Dizabag went to Dodd Valley. We also don't know why Roger and his crew decided to go there at that specific time. And what was more shocking, the Figalon family also went there at that specific moment. Rox pirates were notorious for their terrorist activities against the government and citizens alike. Rox wanted to be the king of the world. 38 years ago, he suddenly called his entire crew to go to Dodd Valley. I think he learned it's certain family from Mary Joa went to God Valley. He wanted to take them hostages and threatened the Gorose to give him something in return. I don't know if he knew about the national treasure of Mary Joa and wanted that as a ransom. But Roger spoiled his entire plan. He didn't just spoil his scheme, he destroyed his entire crew. Well, he had an accomplice, but that's not the point. The point is, Rox lost everything to the two members of the D Clan. Why did Roger and Garb stop another member of D Clan from kidnapping the Celestial Dragons? Why did they help their mortal enemies and turn against their own? Garb regrets his actions so much that he hates when people want to talk about this specific event. From this, you can understand. Garp never wanted to save the Thin Rebeater. He wanted to protect something or somebody and it inadvertently saved the Celestial Dragons as well. In the newspaper, the government held him as a hero for protecting the Celestial Dragons. But it was the last thing he wanted to do. But to the world, Garb defeated Rock's pirates to protect the Celestial Dragons. It was the most humiliating thing for him. To Garb, the Celestial Dragons are worse than scums. And according to Girl in Figaland, the one who protects the scums are trashier than the scums they protect. So so whenever people praise Garb as the hero of the marines, he feels like they're shitting right on his face. Having said that, what was Garb wanting to protect? Did he want to protect the marine soldiers or someone from the slaves? Well, people in the fandom speculating Garb's wife was among the slaves. But that's impossible. Dragon is 55 years old and during the incident of God Valley, he was 70. So it's not possible for mother to be a slave then. Then was it Luffy's mother? That's not either because Luffy was born. 19 years after the God Valley incident. Garp probably went there chasing after Roger and he stumbled upon rocks and the Celestial Dragons. He only joined hands with Roger to protect the innocent marines. So Garp wanted to protect the marine soldiers and rocks wanted to take the Celestial Dragons as hostages. But what did Roger want? What was he there in the first place? I think Roger wanted that humongous egg we saw in his ship. The Figalan family was after it as well. Probably rocks was also after it. I mean when he found out that the Figalon family came here for the egg, he wanted to have it as well. There are several ginormous creatures in the One Piece world. Junesha and the creatures we saw before the Shabori Archipelago arc are some of the examples. So in my opinion, that egg is also of a ginormous creature. It could be a bird, a reptilian, or a mythical beast. There were celestial dragons, rocks pirates, roger pirates, and marines at God Valley. So who arrived on that island first? I think the celestial dragons came first. Then Rock's pirates tried to take them hostage and the marines had to intervene. When the marines were on the verge of defeat, Roger pirates and Garp landed on the island successively and turned the situation around. But before that, when things were looking hopeless for the Figalan family, someone hit Shanks in a treasure chest. Even if they died, that person wanted Shanks to live. In the anime, we saw five silhouettes. The one in the lid was a female. If you take into account of Shades and Mashtesh, this character could be Galdin Figaland. But if you're focusing on Beard, then this dude could be Galdin Figaland. But the problem is, Galdin Figaland was the king, so he needs to be in the center, right? Is that woman more influential than the Figaland family? Perhaps that woman is Shanks' mother, and the teenage girl could be Shanks' sister. I think that girl put Shanks in the treasure chest. I don't know, probably her name is Mary? You know, Mary was Moses' sister who put him inside a chest and threw it in the river Nile. And Moses ended up raised inside the royal palace of Pharaoh as a prince. Previously I thought it was Shang's mother who put him inside the treasure chest, but it could be his sister as well, and it fits with the narratives in the Bible and the Quran. Anyways, I think that girl changed everything when she put Shang's inside the treasure chest. She changed the world without even realizing. 
I mean, if she didn't put Shanks in the treasure chest, he wouldn't have met Roger and become a pirate. And he wouldn't have found Domo Domo Nomi and met Luffy either. It was Shanks who inspired Luffy to become a pirate. And it was also he who saved Luffy twice, on Fusher Village and on Marineford. Luffy thinks Shanks as his role model. So when Luffy overturns everything at Marijoa, that little girl also has a role in it. So I really wanted the Figulan family to be an ally, not an enemy. But it's not possible anymore. However, I do think Shanks' sister will help Luffy somehow. Now in the previous video I said it was Golden Figaland who injured Whitebeard at God Valley. But I overlooked something and came to a wrong conclusion. I'm sorry for that. You see, Shanks met Whitebeard and requested him to stop Ace from chasing Blackbeard. Whitebeard told Shanks when he sees his face, the scar on his body aches. 25 years ago, when Roger and Whitebeard fought, he didn't have any scar on his body, so he didn't get that scar on God Valley. He got it after Roger's execution. If you take a closer look at Girl in Figaland, he doesn't look like Shanks. I mean, look at their noses. They're not the same. One is pointy and the other one is not. I don't know, maybe when Shanks becomes older, his nose will become pointy. Anyways, the Figaland family lost Shanks because of Rock's Pirates. Whitebeard was one of the members of Rock's Pirates. So Shanks father or his uncle might have fought Whitebeard to get back at Rock Spire's involvement at God Valley. He injured Whitebeard in the battle, so it could be Garlin Figalan or a different person from the Figalan family. When Shanks became famous, the Figalan family found his bounty posters. They found out Shanks' true identity. They might have wanted Shanks to return to Mary Joa, but Shanks declined. Now, would Luffy hate Shanks if he knows his identity? I think Luffy answered it just before he started his pirate journey. He told the Don, I hate mountain bandits but I like you guys. The God Valley incident has a far-reaching effect in the world of One Piece. Otherwise, the government wouldn't have tried to erase anything related to God Valley incident, including the island itself. That's all for today. Like the video if you did and subscribe for more. Hit the notification bell icon for updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.